We will now take up the third step of urine formation that is tubular secretion and we are going to use the same diagram but before that we will add few things. There is afferent arteriole then we have made these capillaries here and the efferent artery. The reason why we are drawing this is because we need certain peritubular capillaries here. So these F efferent arteriole, this comes down and it surrounds these tubule part that is PCT and DCT. So here there are these capillaries which are around these tubules. So this is the one which we call the peritubular capillaries. This part is peritubular capillaries. And the reason why we need this because when tubular secretion takes place, the two main parts of the nephron which help in this tubular secretion are PCT and DCT. And they absorb all the waste which is to be secreted from the peritubular capillaries. So, if we talk of PCT, PCT is going to take the substances from this peritubular capillaries, that is the blood which is flowing through this. From here, the cells of PCT would absorb the waste and would put that waste into the nephric filtrate. So tubular secretion is basically done by the glandular cells of PCT and DCT. So by glandular cells of PCT and DCT. So what are they doing? They are absorbing the waste which is in the blood, these cells, and they pour that secretion into the tubule. And that is why it is tubule which is secreting that waste into the filtrate. We call it tubular secretion. PCT helps in removal of. There are certain things which are removed by PCT by this process. And those things are excess of hydrogen ions, ammonia, creatine, hippuric acid, And drugs. So these are the substances which are absorbed by these glandular cells and they are poured into the filtrate by PCT and that is why we are calling it tubular secretion. DCT again from the peritubular capillaries it is going to absorb certain things and pour it into the filtrate. DCT helps in removal of again excess of hydrogen ions, excess of bicarbonate ions. So excess of these ions. It also helps in removal of excess of potassium ions, excess or ammonium ions so, these substances are removed by DCT. PCT, that is proximal convoluted tubule. What all substances are getting removed? This is the direction that is from the peritubular capillaries into the filtrate. So, it is removing ammonia. It is also removing creatine, hippuric acid plus drugs. So these are poured into the filtrate. Here we are talking of DCT. DCT is going to remove excess of bicarbonate ions, ammonium ions, excess of potassium ions. All these things would be poured by the cells of the tubule into the filtrate. So this is what exactly happens in tubular secretion. Now this tubular secretion is the main mode of excretion, main mode of excretion in marine fishes and some amphibians and some amphibians. 
and the reason this is the main mode of excretion in these animals is they do not have this glomerulus where the filtration can take place. So reason for this is absence of glomerulus and that is why most of the substances are eliminated by tubular secretion. That means in higher organisms like human beings, the three steps which are involved in urine formation, ultrafiltration, then selective reabsorption and tubular secretion. But in certain animals, lower vertebrates like marine fishes and some amphibians, the main mode of excretion, that means instead of these two steps, there is only tubular secretion. Ultrafiltration is not seen in them because they don't have glomerulus. So ultrafiltration was mainly associated with glomerulus filtration which takes place in the Bowman's capsule. So we have seen how urine formation takes place. Three steps, ultrafiltration where the blood gets filtered through glomerulus and a filtrate is formed here. The filtrate is known as nephric filtrate. Then selective reabsorption takes place when this filtrate passes through various parts of the nephron. Depending upon the threshold of that substance, the substance can be absorbed 100% or partially. And the third step is tubular secretion where the glandular cells of mainly PCT and DCT absorb waste from the blood which is flowing through the peritubular capillaries and they pour that waste into the filtrate and as this waste is collected by the glandular cells and poured by the glandular cells of the tubule, we call it tubular secretion. This third step is the main mode of excretion in certain lower vertebrates like these uh, examples which we have written. And finally the filtrate which comes here in the collecting duct, we start calling it urine. Now in the next segment, we will talk about the composition of urine because this is going to be totally different from what is there in the nephric filtrate. Nephric filtrate had high threshold substances, low threshold substances and non-threshold substances also. By the time it comes here, it's going to have only low threshold substances and non-threshold substances because high threshold substances have been absorbed actively through PCT. So next part we will take a composition of urine.